can tell that he's not disturbing anything <laughs> while while if Julia try to uh, yeah <laughs> Welcome back to our channel in 2024. We really hope you had a nice holiday time and a happy new uh, year, guys. Exactly. Uh, Again, best wishes for a happy 2024. I've been missing you, Ale. Me too, me too. <laughs> and I've been missing you guys as well. Yes. So I'm very happy to be here today to speak a little bit. Uh, That's right. With you. That's right. And today's topic mm -hmm. is going to be about the color of the year. What best topic to start with? With, right so the Pantone selected the color of the year the peach fuzz but we're going to talk about this in one minute we really want to tell you two very important things so the first one is that you're gonna see a new graphic package mm -hmm. in this video because we have been working very hard yes. to create our new graphic package and we really hope that you will respond very well like we, we, That's we right. do That's on right. this new graphic package because it really represents us, us and the yes. sense of color analysis studio guys is there <laughs> We really hope mm -hmm. that you're going to like it yeah. as much as we mm -hmm. do. And the second thing is that uh, we have uh, a sponsor coming back to our channel again. That's uh, right, a returning sponsor that we absolutely love. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring us again. Skillshare is an online platform dedicated to people who are curious, creative and eager to learn new skills. Skillshare has a thousand of online classes available to everyone from all around the world and from the comfort of your home. It has a wide depth and breadth of topics ranging from illustration, marketing, music, productivity and so much more. And for 2024, they introduce the learning path. This is such a clever integration on their platform because it helps you achieve your goal in a very quick and easy way. You can find carefully curated content created by industry pros with your creative learning goals in mind. We have a special offer for you guys. The first 500 people to use our link will get one month free trial with Skillshare. We can't wait to start the Grow Your First YouTube channel. That's amazing. <laughs> That's perfect for us. Perfect for us. I was very, very impressed by the selection and the quality of the content. You know, they cover from how to start the channel, how to edit your videos, how to manage your creative projects. So it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing how with this learning path they really selected all the material for you. So you basically need just to start your lesson and that's it. Guys, remember to look at Skillshare and make the most of our offer. You can find all the info and the link in the description below. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring us again. And now Ale, we're ready to start talking about the peach fuzz. Amazing, I love it. First of all, what's Pantone Julia? Mm, because yeah. uh, everyone is talking about this Pantone, 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 but what's that? And what is this? Uh, color of the year trending. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So Pantone is a company that deals with color matching. They basically create codes to identify specific colors. Mm -hmm. So you have Pantone codes for specific colors and Pantone names mm -hmm. for specific mm -hmm. colors. So they basically provide a universal language for color matching. Yes, yes. And since the year 2000, they have been selecting mm -hmm. this color of the year. What does it mean? So the process for selecting the color of the year is very interesting because they meet um, usually in a capital city in Europe mm -hmm. and they have this secret two-day meeting That's amazing. that involves uh, color experts from all around the world and at the end of this uh, secret meeting they elect and choose the color that according to them best represents the following year so they decided that the best color that represents 2024 is going to be peach fuzz yeah. Amazing. Imagine where we will be invited in this secret meeting to decide <laughs> the right. new color. That's the achievement. <laughs> That's the achievement. Yeah, to select That's the, the goal, the guys. Of the year. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, the color of the year inspires designers and creatives mm -hmm. for the the whole year mm -hmm. so be ready to see this color everywhere in shops when it comes to clothing but even you in know cars, product design uh, yeah. yeah exactly mobile phones, mobile phones home yeah. decor makeup shoes yeah Ale, what do you think about Peach Fuzz? Do you like it? Like your personal taste? Mm, I love it oh, personally. Okay. It's a color that probably I don't use much in okay. my clothing, but it's a color that really represents uh, this sweet uh, taste. I don't know, mm. it's something uh, that I really, I really love. I'm not totally uh, disappointed by this mm, color because mm. I think it really represents something very sweet and yeah. we really need the sweet things yes. for this 2024 so i personally love it mm -mm -mm. yeah um uh, alessandra was referring to the fact that uh, many people were very disappointed like color experts uh, yeah. and people who work in this area they were a bit disappointed because mm -mm. they were all expecting a sort of green green what they want to communicate with this uh, with this color is nurturing connection and closeness and i mm. think that a color like peach uh, really brings these three things together that's right which is completely in contraposition with the, the color of 2023 viva magenta that on the other hand mm. was a color very dynamic and aggressive yes, yes very very so strong so i can feel the swap to something that is more delicate mm. more sweet <laughs> yes, yes. more gentle so i think it's going in the same direction of uh, what people was expecting of course with green we have the direct connection with the environment yeah, yeah. but the feeling that this speech is communicating for me it's amazing so now we can analyze from a color analysis point of view mm -hmm. this speech fast color in terms of undertone intensity and value undertone wise i'd say we don't have any very, doubt very straightforward <laughs> it's a very very warm mm -hmm. color therefore we are already in the right side of the graph spring and autumn mm -hmm. winter summers uh, this color is not part of your palette but we're going to talk about this in a minute then intensity and value ale what mm -hmm. do you think about the characteristics of this color yeah so even in this case uh, there are a little bit of polemics about which is the intensity of this uh, peach, peach fuzz, fuzz yeah. uh, so pantone uh, declared this color as a warm and soft yes okay so this is what they say to describe uh, the color mm -hmm. regarding the intensity um i think i'm not really agree with mm, that yeah. because uh, for us a soft color is a color that has gray added to it and the peach fuzz there's nothing related to gray, gray at all. No. It's not a gray down color, but it's a white down color. So That's it's right. a color that uh, is very creamy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it's a soft color at all. No, that's right. Uh, of course, uh, maybe it's not extremely bright or extremely mm -hmm. vivid, mm -hmm. but uh, as Alessandra was saying, a color to be soft has to have a good amount of gray in it. Mm -hmm. So the soft colors from the autumn palette, for example, they look a bit dusty, sometimes mm -hmm. very dusty, sometimes just a little bit, mm -hmm. while Peach Fuzz doesn't look dusty. No, it no. looks delicate, but exactly. it doesn't look dusty. Exactly. I think that the word soft in this uh, contest is referring just to a delicate color, mm -hmm. and I completely agree with that. Uh, it's not a very pure hue, it's still a color that has uh, some white uh, added yes. to it so it's a color that is a little bit muted down by the, by white, the white but it's still not a soft color in uh, our opinion that's right exactly right mm -hmm. as we can see in the color wheel even when you add white to a color you make the color look lighter and when you add gray to a color you make the color look softer because you add this dusty feeling on top of the color so Ale since you think that uh, the undertone is warm the intensity is let's say medium high and mm -hmm. the value of course is light what is the palette that you think peach fuzz belongs to i think it's a spring color yes yeah I for agree. its uh, for its characteristics is definitely a spring color because it's light warm and medium intense uh, i'm not saying that is just for spring it's a pretty versatile color i think for warm people in general that's right i can really see 
an autumn, even an autumn soft, uh, mm. we're in peach fuzz. Yes. Uh, and uh, remember that uh, in terms of uh, color that you choose in this uh, range of peach, it's not that it needs to be specifically peach With fuzz. With that code. Uh, yeah. It will be impossible to no. find. We are talking about peach and the peach, peach family, family of general. color. Okay. So Ali, you would say that this color would suit springs? And autumn. also autumn, yeah. so all people who have a warm undertone. I would imagine this color uh, to work extremely well on spring light people mm -hmm. and even spring warm and autumn warm, yeah. so the warm subgroups as well. But uh, once again, even a spring bright or an autumn deep or an autumn soft yeah. can definitely wear uh, these colors. Uh, of course, uh, the effect that it has would be different, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, of course it's a color that can be part of a wardrobe of any person who belongs to autumn or spring. And remember that it is a color that we don't have to associate just to clothes in general, but uh, it's a very stunning color for makeup and Absolutely. people. That's uh, a strike, I think. Mm, yes, uh, I personally think about these people who have this peachy mm -hmm. kind of skin, um, so the undertone is very very evident, you perceive these gold and peachy tones mm -hmm. in the skin and these people work extremely well with peach and apricot looking colors for their makeup. And something interesting, if we have a look at the color wheel again, with the peach fuzz, we mm -hmm. are in the orange area of the mm -hmm. colored wheel, right? What's the complementary color? It's going to be blue. So, peach fuzz is a color that can make a blue look bluer. Mm -hmm. For example, we highly recommend you use this color if you have a warm undertone and blue eyes. That's amazing. You imagine this uh, peach eyeshadow with these blue eyes. Wow, fantastic. That's right. Or even a peach mm -hmm. blush, you know. Uh, so feel free to incorporate this color in your makeup. But also I think that it's going to be very interesting to see this color when it comes to weddings and ceremonies. Amazing. It's a color that I really associated to wedding and ceremony in general. If you're going to get married in 2024 and you have a warm Anderton, uh, please consider to introduce this color in your uh, makeup or in your uh, outfit. Why not? It can be even a whole suit for a man or just a detail. It can be the flowers, it can be a tie for a man, mm -hmm. it can be the handkerchief in your pocket. So uh, the ways to introduce this color in your wedding day um, are absolutely endless. Okay, so Julia, so for cool people, uh, what happens? Guys, uh, let's uh, see us again in 2025, <laughs> basically uh, winters, summers, mm -hmm. this color is not part mm -hmm. of your palette and I would say don't follow the trend, this color is not able to bring out the chromatic features that you naturally have, however if you happen to have this color already in your wardrobe, what can you do? Or even if you just love this color, regardless of the palette, what can you do? We highly recommend you combine it with blues. Mm -hmm. Okay, as we said, it's a complementary color, so it's a color that can create very beautiful combinations. Mm -hmm. And also, as usual, try to wear it far away from your face, in small amounts, not every day. Yeah. Yeah, please don't follow the trend because uh, we are having fun and now we're discussing about the color of the year, but uh, we really want to escape this trend thing. That's uh, right. So we really needed to emphasize who we naturally are and it's not because the color of the year is peach fuzz. Exactly. You winter had to wear a peach <laughs> fuzz <laughs> everywhere because otherwise you would be wrong. No, that's right. No, no, no. Follow, follow your natural beauty, no the beauty of someone else or someone else is imposing as a beauty standard exactly. for 2024. Exactly, so. as I'm pretty sure that you didn't buy anything in Viva, Viva Magenta, Magenta. No, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, thank you. I, I had my peach exactly. or uh, my green, uh, warm green. So, exactly, no, no, no. so I'll pretend that it's yeah. 2023 again. Mm. <laughs> I'll stick with yeah. my to my winter colors mm -hmm. and who knows what happens in 2025. Yes, exactly. So as you can see guys, this is a very similar to 
all the peach fuzz and uh, as you can see ah, lovely look uh, it's really emphasized my oh, natural yeah. beauty <laughs> <laughs> that is not very natural because of course I have makeup and I have you know accessory and everything but uh, you can tell that it's you very can harmonious, tell that it's harmonious. Uh, mm -hmm. you can tell that it's not disturbing anything <laughs> while while if Julia try to uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's very difficult. I think for winters, probably yes. is the most difficult color for winters in general, because you know, a summer. I'm not saying that is in the palette, in summer palette, no. but uh, you know, probably a summer light in combination with the light blue uh, exactly. can create a nice outfit. You know, you can get away with it if it's you know one mm -hmm. item every now and then. If your yeah. summer light, you know, the lightness is there. But uh, anyway, <laughs> probably summer and winter just stay off. Stay away from yes, that. Yes, so. yes, yes. And it's a color for us, warm people. That's right. Finally. That's right. Finally. So guys, uh, we are at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please let us know what you think about the peach fast color. Does it represent 2024? Do you use it already? Do you like it? Do you don't <laughs> like it? Are you going to introduce uh, this color in your wardrobe? Maybe because you're spring or autumn. So leave a comment below. Also remember to subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram and if you're interested in a color analysis session here in Melbourne, Australia or online, feel free to visit our website coloranalysis.eu. We're going to see you guys very soon on this channel with more videos. Bye! Bye. Bye.